Okay, five things about myself that nobody else knows for real this time because I spent way too many of these attempts just talking to the, vi to the webcam without actually turning the webcam on. So I was basically just sitting um, here talking to myself. So my truth number one is that I am very technology challenged. There's probably a better way to put it, but I honestly am. I have to get Sam, who's my younger brother, and thankfully so gifted when it comes to anything electronic to fix things for me or show me how to use certain programs and you know gadgets and whatever like I have a digital camera and he had to show me how to use a flash on it like stuff like that so that's the first fact about myself the second fact about myself that probably some people know um, I know my mom knows because she'll come and enjoy me sometimes when I'm when I have a hard day at work my favorite thing is to come home and put corner gas on my computer. My bed's right behind me so I can just lay on my bed and watch episodes of Corner Gas, which is a Canadian series. It's on CTV and comedy. It's set in a fictional town in Saskatchewan called Dog River, and the premise of the show is about the main character named Brent, and he owns a gas station. I know that a show about a guy owning a gas station is really not that funny sounding, but it is really, really funny, well written. Um, I really enjoy just coming home and just laughing until I feel better if I've had like a really, if I feel really down about something that happened at work or if I feel exhausted. I find, you know, they do say laughter is the best medicine and I find it's really true. So if that's true, then, then corner gas is usually the cure for whatever ails me. My second, well, no, this will be third now, um, fact that nobody knows is that I will go ten minutes away from a building. If I'm in a downtown and I have to park, I will, j like, go ten blocks away and then walk the distance if there is a parallel spot. I cannot parallel park. I have a small car, so it should be really easy, but I can't do it. I have nightmares about having to parallel park on my, on my, um, I had an in-car test when I was getting my G2, and I failed it three times, my G2 test, because every time I couldn't parallel park, and one of the times I should have let it go, because it was after a huge snowstorm, and the plow had gone down the road, so I couldn't even see where the curb was because of all the snow, and I still hit the curb, and the guy failed me, so that was kind of unfair, but I will go to extraordinary lengths so that I do not have to parallel park. Um, <laughs> another fact about myself is that I love to sing along to my iPod in the car. I, I really <laughs> have to laugh when I think about how I must look to other people when I'm like, say, driving along the QEW, and I'm not unsafe, like I am paying attention to what I'm doing, so I have both my hands on my wheel. I try not to be one of those people that just drives with one hand. I try to be safe, and I'm I'm going down the highway, singing away with us. I'm holding on, your rope got me ten feet off the ground. I'll give you five bucks if you know what song that's from. You probably do because it's on the radio all the time now. I love singing along, and I'm so bad at it, so I only drive around singing to myself when I'm the only one in the car, and I will, <laughs> unless I want to bother the person with me because I'm so bad at singing. <laughs> so terrible. Um, last fact about me is that if I had been born a boy, my name would have been Taylor. That was my dad's choice. They decided together that if I was a girl that I was going to be named, um, Bailey after Bailey Quarters, which is how I have my name in the operating room, which, okay, that's another little fact about myself is that there's a couple doctors who call me Quarters because there was a show called WKNRV Cincinnati, which was, um, a comedy that was on, I guess, 83, 84, which is when I was born, and my parents watched it together, and there was a character named Bailey Quarters, and it's actually, <laughs> that's who I'm named after, everybody thinks I'm named after Bailey's Irish Cream, and my parents really aren't luscious, I was named after this character, so when I told, um, a doctor this, he, he started calling me Quarters, so every time he sees me, I'm like, yeah, he's, what's up, Quarters, <laughs> so that's another little fact about me that nobody knows unless you work in the operating room. And I'm going to be careful what I say on here because I really don't want it coming back to bite me later. And those are just a couple little facts about myself that nobody knows. I was going to try to, I was thinking about this all day long. You know, I didn't want to put anything up on YouTube that was going to get me into trouble. And I was going to like just make up some things like, oh yeah, 
I have a tail, and I don't actually have a tail. I do have a tail bone, which I discovered, um, <laughs> you don't know you have a tail bone until you've fallen off a horse onto your tail bone and had to the around for weeks afterwards, and you really, I think that most people don't know about certain bones in the body until they somehow injured them, and, I, and then you're quite aware of that bone for some weeks until it, until it heals. Um, the, I'm supposed to tag five people. I really don't know too many people on YouTube, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to tag my friend John, who I'm going to keep bugging and bugging and bugging. I, I hope you're watching this, John. That, until you do this as well. So I'm just going to tag him. But if anybody else is watching this and wants to give it a go, I encourage it. It's kind of fun trying to think about five facts about yourself that nobody else knows. And just give it a shot and have fun. This was kind of fun, so yeah, go for it.